the Neo4j browser brings some interesting data sets. So to be able to start playing with Cypher without the need of creating content from scratch nor importing it. Throughout the lectures, the provided movie dataset will be used so to cover the querying examples. The movie dataset is an excerpt of actors, directors, producers, amongst other roles, and the movies they got involved. This data universe will be sufficient to learn how to query and modify datasets. The dataset is available on both the installed Neo4j and the sandboxes. It can be loaded by selecting from the sample scripts, example grubs, on the favorites menu. When executing play movie grab, we get the guide for this example dataset. On the loaded container, browsing to the second tab, the cipher query for the data load appears. To load the sample data, just we need to press on the query dialog, which is then immediately appearing on the console bar. There are over 500 lines of code which are executed sequentially. When executing it, the output shows only the last block of data loaded, which is related to Tom Hanks. Hovering over Tom Hanks, two properties are shown for this node besides the internal ID, born and name. Doing the same for a movie, such as Cloud Atlas, the properties found are Released, type line, and title. Doing the same for the acted in type of relationship, we see the property roles, which is not shown on the directed for obvious reasons. There are some other query examples throughout the movie graph dialog, though we will be playing with some or our own. Therefore, we can close this dialog. Before we proceed with our own examples, it's interesting to understand how the data is stored and related. The way to get the database structure is via the DB schema stored procedure, which was mentioned on an earlier lecture. These can be found as show metagraph under the common procedures. Executing it, we see still the content from our previous example, which was the message and database, and now two more nodes and relationships have shown. If we focus on the movie dataset content, we see there are two types of nodes. So we have nodes with two different labels, one being person, the other one being movie. With regards the relationships between person and movie, we see that the relations have as label act in, reviewed, produced, wrote, and directed, all of them starting from the node person and ending on the node movie. We have as well some extra relationship which begins and ends on the same label type, which is person. 
that relationship is of label follows. This would complement what has been identified previously about the node's properties, which are the name and the born for person, and the released tagline and title for movie. We see in here no further indexes nor constraints.